Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. One of my most popular videos in the Subnautica Below Zero series was how to find the Kara sample in the Subnautica Below Zero beta. Now, that's changed slightly, what with the release of the full game, so I thought I'd revisit that video and show you a new method. So we're going to be starting off from Delta Station Dock, where it's a lovely clear day. We're going to head southwest along the course line until we get to this little basking beach. And you'll see it because all the penguins will be sat on there toddling around. And that's going to be our starting point on how we're going to go and find the Kara sample. Now, this Kara sample has already been synthesized. All we need to do is really go and pick it up because Sam's done all the work. So there's our little basking beach and there's our penguins. So from there, what we're going to do now is we're going to head due west straight down as far as you can go and when i say as far as you can go it really is as far as you can go you will hit a block of ice now you'll have to make slight deviations to get past these sort of like bubbling geezer pillars these lava spouts but generally you'll get there no time at all and this will take you into the glacial basin biome now when you get to this point, this is where things can get a little bit dicey. I always tend to go on the little cave to the left hand side from this point. Now if you're in a sea truck and the sea truck hasn't had a hull upgrade module fitted to it, you are really going to be on the edge of your crush depth. In fact, you're going to exceed your crush depth to the point where you'll be incurring damage. So make sure you've got a repair tool with you. Now head on down passing these lovely and colourful jellyfish Keep on going, and it'll be quite indicative as the way that you should be going. You want to be going typically west and upwards. So keep heading in that general direction. You'll see, you know, caverns filled with jellyfish. Just bounce them out the way. Or if you've got a defense grid as well fitted to your sea truck, use that. Keep on moving. The cave and cavern will twist you around this way and that, and you'll be ever more conscious of your crush depth. Don't forget, if you've got that repair tool and things are getting a little bit dicey, you can get out and repair your sea truck if before things get too precarious. So before long, you'll start heading upwards and you'll be getting underneath your crush depth now, so you won't be incurring too much damage, if any at all, providing you don't hit on anything. There'll be all these little crevasses which you have to go through, keep on heading up, Make sure your depth is decreasing and you'll know you're in the right area where you see this picture on the screen. Now, look out, there's a little plinth, little ledge, and what you want to be doing is parking your sea truck on that. Now, if you've got materials, I advise building a little base here, a little base of operations. Now this is the area that you want and this area this biome the glacial basin is fraught with peril not only from creatures like snow stalkers rampaging around and this is a little pointer we're looking for now a snow stalker skeleton go directly below that and this is the area that we want but also the weather can get cold really quick now you can see a little bit of quintessential Altera technology what you want to do now is get a hold of a spy penguin and a remote. If you haven't got one and don't know how to get one, then check out my video in the tab at the top of the screen and I'll put a link in the description as well. So as you can get through that hole, and these holes are all over Subnautica Below Zero, you're going to be using your spy penguin. So get your spy penguin out. Mine's called Peng Jack. Keeping an eye out for anything that might attack you at the same time. And this will become evident in a minute. Put your spy penguin down. And then get your remote. Now, one button packs up the spy penguin. The next button allows you to operate it. And you always make that mistake at least once in that game. Pressing the other button takes you into the spy penguin camera interface where you can drive your spy penguin around, gaining access to areas where your protagonist no longer can. So in here across the twisty bridge and you'll see an Altera case. In this Altera case is the Kara sample and that's exactly what you want. You want that antidote. Pick it up. 
it'll go into the storage area of your spy penguin. Job done. You have now got the Kara Antidote. Now there's some Magnetite around as well, some Quartz. Pick it up if you haven't really got it and then make your way back out across the bridge and back to Alex. Now, once you get a bit closer, you may lose the signal a bit. The screen might go blank. This is because you're probably being attacked by a snow stalker or something like that. They sneak up behind you, but they do just there. If that happens, run away, take them on a merry chase, go back and pick up the items from the spy penguin. At that, I mean, pick up all the things that you've picked up from it. And don't forget to pick up the spy penguin because you'll need it in a few areas as well. Don't think you'll be safe from these snow stalkers either in the water because you won't because they do like to go for a little paddle and an ice skate as well. So evasion is the name of the game. Now once you've got the Kara antidote and you've put your spy penguin away and you've stocked up on food and water, it's time to head northwest into the cave system. These fevered peppers are a good protection against the cold should you get caught short out in the wild. Eat one of those and your temperature goes back up. This cave is integral. Lots of things in here you can scan for your database. Ice stalagmites. Again, with the fevered peppers, make sure you've got some of those in your stash to save you coming back this way again. Head off to the left and you'll come out into the, what we call the forest biome. Now this forest biome is the entry area to where you need to get to the Leviathan. Now there's gonna be all snow fox um, wreckage around that you can scan if you haven't already got the parts for a snow fox and you can create a snow fox pad and then create a snow fox and go whizzing around speeder bike style with varying degrees of success. It is quite difficult to control, I find, although I've seen some people who are a dab hand at it. So practice will make perfect. Head towards the outer wall of this canyon crater. Follow any light posts, any Altera light posts you see. Keep hugging the walls. Really, this area is, is such that you can't quite get lost to it. So, you know, as long as you're heading in a west southwesterly area, you'll come across a light post and this entrance to a cave. Now, be careful with the snow fox. It is quite tight to get it down there. So you may have to get so far and leave it. But you will come across a little door to the right-hand side. So be careful you don't watch it. It's Paravan Inavov. Ivanov, that's the fella. Now here you're gonna find some snow stalker fur, which is integral into making the snowsuit. Couple of things to scan as well, couple of posters to get, usual stuff as well. There's also a fridge, a cupboard you can't access, some PDAs as well that add to the law of Subnautica below zero. Jukebox disc, always handy to get those tunes. And you can see on the screen there as well that you're on the right track, you're heading the right location and that's where the Leviathan frozen in ice is going to be. So once you're satisfied you've got everything, drop off anything that you don't in a nice safe location that you know where it is and time to head back out. Make sure you've got absolutely everything because posters are posters, right? Then from that point, head back out, close the door just to be a completist. And that was Paravan Ivanov's security bunker. Back on the snow fox and head on back down into the structure. You only be able to go so far before abandoning this um, into this cavern, really. It does start to get really tight um, and it's best off getting there on foot as well. You'll know when you're gonna, it's going to get too tight. Right around about here. And you think, what hmm, here? not going to be able to drive that snow fox down there. So, off you get. Time to get on on foot. Now, straight away, you're going to be able to see PDAs. Make sure you pick them all up. There'll be benches hanging around with more items. You can see the frozen Leviathan 
in ice as it was in the alpha and beta of Subnautica Below Zero. But the, what you, how you interact with it has changed. You also get a necklace, which was Sam's necklace as well. So it's worthwhile picking that. And another scanner. If anything, it's worthwhile just to drop it into your Recyclotron and get the materials back off it. So with that now, time to get yourself into the main sort of antechamber. Lots of fevered peppers hanging around in case you get caught short, though you're not going to suffer from the cold here. Have a look around. There's a crate. Maybe lots of story from Alan, peppering it with a little bit of lore and flavor. Got some water purification tablets. You've got a lift. I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly a little bit of glass. Nothing much really to scan on this location. A spy penguin fragment, like we need that. Um, okay, off to the left-hand side, down into this first antechamber, without going to the main event, you're going to find a massive claw. Now, you can scan this and scan the various items of the Leviathan, and it's worthwhile doing that, because it's all data, isn't it? Also, you're going to get some hydrochloric acid, but if you've been following my videos, you'll see how to produce that anyway. Once you've scanned the claw, move on down the cavern, down to that prawn suit. Now, here's one of the big things and one of the problems I've had with the game since the alpha or beta when this was put in. You can't scan this as a prawn suit fragment. You just cannot. And that's a shame because that would have been an ideal place to have put it. Forcing people down the route of doing, going through the story at least to a point. Anyway, out of here. Back off to the left. Pick up some lubricant. Everyone likes a little bit of lube. And into the lift. A little bit of copper wire. Into the lift. Hit that activate elevator button. And that'll take you right up to the top where they've burnt a hole through the ice so they can gain access to the Leviathan. And there's a few items to pick up here on the left hand side as well. A bit of fiber mesh, a bit of silicon rubber, synthetic fibers. And then you can get in. Now, like I said, get your scanner out and start scanning because you can scan different parts of the Leviathan. You can scan the Leviathan's teeth. You can then scan the creature's skull. Nothing else to scan there. You can see uh, the postules of the Kara virus. You can give them a scan. And of course, you've got the little buggy that if you've played the beta, you'll know what it's there for. But in this case then, it's gonna you're gonna insert the antidote and not a sample, and you're gonna court, cure the Kara virus in this Leviathan. So there it is, all put in, nice and neat. Let's just pop up the ladder. Have a look around here. And the next ladder. Nothing to scan. Now you can drop down here, but you will incur a little bit of damage. Not much, but it's a little bit. Nothing to write home about. And then it's time to activate and insert the Kara antidote into the Kara infected King Leviathan. Just click on the screen, begin injection process. Off the little trolley goes. Injects the Leviathan with the Kara antidote. You can see it going down from the, the container job done and that's it you have not only found the Kara antidote you've also made your way all the way to the frozen leviathan injected it with the Kara antidote cured it even though it's dead job done and you've completed sam's work your sister sam all done completed and your character does get 
a little bit of joy and closure by doing this. Then from this point, it's time to make your way back out and get on with the rest of the game, which is more than likely going to include finding the rest of the body parts for Alan, the AI that you've got in your head. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this quite long video, but in depth on how to get the Cara virus antidote, how to gain access to the glacial basin, how to find the frozen leviathan, how to inject the frozen leviathan with the Cara antidote, and therefore complete Sam's work. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series, and I'll see you soon.